Welcome to Intermediate German Grammar, presented by the German Studies Program at Elon University. This presentation explains the difference between simple past tense and the compound past tense, also known as the present perfect. To talk about things in the past, German most often uses the compound past, also known as the present perfect. Examples of the compound past are on your screen. If you need a refresher on how to form the compound past, or on the differences between English and German past tense usage, those videos are in the playlist. The compound past is called compound because it consists of two parts, a helping verb and a past participle. There is a second past tense form called the simple past. It is so named because it consists of a single word. The meaning of the simple past is exactly the same as the meaning of the compound past. To put it slightly differently, the meanings created by these two tenses are entirely identical and interchangeable. So, why is the simple past necessary? It's because the simple past is used in a couple of special situations. One of those special situations is with a handful of very common verbs. The verbs sein and haben are good examples of two very common verbs that are usually formed in the simple past rather than the compound past. There is a compound past tense for each of these verbs, but it's rarely used. Use simple past for sein and haben instead. For the full conjugations of these verbs in the simple past, do a quick online search. The same is true of the modal verbs. There's a compound past tense for the modal verbs, but it's almost never used. Use simple past instead. If you need a refresher on modal verbs, see the playlist. For the full conjugation of modal verbs in the simple past, do a quick online search. In addition to always using simple past for sein, haben, and the modal verbs, there is another special use of the simple past. The simple past is commonly used with all verbs in formal speech situations, such as the TV news and newspapers. To sum up, the compound past and simple past create the same meaning, but are used in different situations. The compound past is used much more commonly than the simple past in day-to-day -day life, with the exception that sein, haben, and the modal verbs are usually formed in the simple past rather than the compound past. And when reading newspapers or watching the news, you will encounter more or less only the simple past. That concludes our presentation. Thanks for watching. Be sure to visit us on the web or follow us on Facebook or Twitter.